Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been looking forward to all year long. I am going to be transitioning my wardrobe from summer and spring into fall and winter. But this year is extra special because I am actually pregnant with my first baby and this fall and winter I will be going through my second and third trimester of pregnancy, um, which means my wardrobe <laughs> needs to be pretty flexible with me. So today I'm going to be kind of taking you through the process of putting away my clothes from summertime um, and then going through my current selection of fall winter clothes and kind of deciding what will work for maternity, um, what will not. I have some maternity pieces. Most of my clothes though are just regular clothing. Um, I think a lot of things will be bump friendly, but we'll see. I'm hoping to kind of create a capsule maternity fall winter wardrobe um, so that I can just have some cute go-to pieces and just make things easy for myself. A little bit of background just for my wardrobe requirements. I'm a teacher um, and I start teaching this next week. I can't believe it's already here, but I'm actually working from home doing um, like online distance teaching right now. So I don't need to get quite as dressed up as I would if I were going in in person, but I still want to look nice, especially on top where they can see me on the camera. And let's be honest, on the bottom, it'll probably usually be leggings or sweatpants because <laughs> that's all that fits me right now. It's like mean girls. Sweatpants are all that fit me right now. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So we're here in my bedroom. I'd like to apologize because the lighting is not great in here. There's not an overhead light. I just have lamps, so everything's gonna look slightly yellow. Sorry. <laughs> um, but we do have a nice big window, so at least, at least we have that going for us. First off, I just wanna show you what we're working with for clothes. So this is my closet here. Walk in. Um, on this side is Davis's stuff. So kind of there to up here. And then on this side is my stuff. So I have um, mostly tops hung up here, or sweaters and jackets down here. And then over on this side, I also have all of my dresses. And it is a, it's a lot bigger than a closet I've ever had, but it's still kind of small for getting in with good camera angles, so I apologize for that. Also, we have this dresser here, and then this bottom one is all of my pants, which is stuffed full at the moment. Um, so I'll also be going through that. Hey, what is it? First things first, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of my summer clothes that I know I won't be wearing throughout the colder season at all, um, so that I can put those away into storage for now. Now that I got all my summer things out, I think for the most part all of these can just go straight into storage. Um, although I might look through the t-shirts because some of those um, I might be able to wear under cardigans and stuff. So these, they're all tank tops. Really don't think I'm going to be wearing any of those. So these will just go into storage next summer. And same for the shorts. Okay. I don't want any of the shorts. I think I'm going to be wearing this one while pregnant. <laughs> this is cute for work, but from like the front to the back, there's not very much space. So I don't think that would work as my belly grows. Same for this one probably. It's really cute, but I just don't think, 
I just don't think it's gonna fit more than like a couple weeks. Cause so I'm already getting to the point where my like tighter, more fitted shirts are not not fitting anymore. And that's the thing about being pregnant for the first time, you don't really know how big you're gonna get or like how you're gonna carry it. So you just kind of have to guess. I might leave a few t-shirts out just because they're comfy to wear around the house. And this kind is cotton, so it's nice and stretchy and I think it would fit for a while probably. Next, I'm gonna go through um, the, my long sleeves and button-ups and sweaters. Um, that's all that's kind of left in here. And just decide what is gonna work and what is not. Okay, so basically the criteria is what well, has to be cute and fall appropriate, winter appropriate. But for the maternity side of things, it has to be stretchy enough to fit a growing belly and also long enough that it's not gonna start riding up. So this one, while it is stretchy, I don't think it's going to be long enough. Okay, so this one, it's really loose, but it's kind of short, but I think if I just wear it with like high-waisted leggings, um, I have some maternity leggings that fit, I think it could still be really cute. Um, a little cool, but if I wore it under cardigan, I think it'd be fine. I love this sweater. It's not like I'm getting rid of it, but I just don't think it's gonna work for pregnancy. It's fitted, it's short. I don't think so. These are like fancier tops that I don't wear as often, but uh, no. I'm still wearing that one. Or that. <laughs> or that. Or that. Okay, so this is what we have for um, like long sleeves and um, button ups and pullovers so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into my favorite section of my closet, which is the sweaters. Um, hopefully I'll have some cute things that will work in here. I love this sweater. I got it at a thrift store and it's Buffalo brand. But it hits it like it's such a weird spot up here. I don't think, I don't think it would work. So. This would be okay, I think. It's pretty loose. And I could like tuck it into something. I don't think this would work either, really. This is really stretchy and like fairly long. And I really like to wear this in like the holidays and around Christmas time. So I think I'll leave that out. A lot of these things I'll just kind of have to wait and see if they really do work around, you know, when I'm hoping to wear them. But for now, this is just like the preliminary thing. And hopefully I'll also realize like if there are any more maternity pieces that I need to get. 
I also love this sweater. It's Madeville. I got it for $5 from the yard sale. And I think it will work throughout pregnancy because it's nice and flowy. It's not super long, but I think with like high-waisted leggings, like the ones I'm wearing, it'd be super cute. This is a cute free people sweater that has a lot of space in the front. And it's long in the back, so I think this would work. Hopefully. This is my love. I will wear this all the time this winter. Stuff like this, it's kind of like what I have on, is perfect because it's just really long and like stretchy. But it kind of has that waistband at the bottom so you're not just like a tent, a pregnant tent. And now we're starting to get into cardigan territory. Um, and I think pretty much all of my cardigans are going to work for fall. This because you can just wear them open and not even worry about it. This one. I also have this cardigan, which is super cozy. Back here, it's hard to see, but I have my winter jackets. And then I also have my work pants shoved in a corner because I haven't worn them in like seven months. So I think Let's see. My like warm winter jackets are out in our coat closet. So I think I'll just rely on those ones and these ones can just chill. Mm. Best? We're unzipped. I don't really think I would wear it all that often. And these are my work pants. Moment of silence for the work pants. It's just been so long for them. Just like, please wear me, Grace. So I'm gonna take a minute and put some of this stuff away and I'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, so I just pulled out this suitcase. Um, in the off season, I'll store my like off season clothes in a suitcase. Um, so I haven't looked in here in like a year, so. Well, in a while, so let's see what's here. A big, like, winter raincoat. Gotta have one of those when you live in Oregon. It's not super fitted, so I'm gonna leave it out for now and, um, like, just wear it as long as I can if we need to. This jacket is open, so I think it would actually work. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love this jacket. It's an Eddie Bauer like puffer jacket and I got it last year for like 20 bucks at Plato's Closet. Um, this is a sweater that was actually my grandmom's. She gave it to me. I think this would definitely work for pregnancy. Another sweater. I thought I donated this sweater, honestly. I decided that I didn't really like it anymore. Yeah, this is cropped. It's cozy. I could wear it with high waist leggings, so we'll see. I'll try that one. All right, so now we're gonna go through the dresses and skirts portion of my closet. And honestly, I don't think there's a ton that are gonna work, so I'm just gonna pull out what will and stick it over here with everything else that I think will work for pregnancy in the next two seasons um, because I don't really have a good spot to store these so I'm just going to leave them kind of hanging here. This 
This is a cute fall dress. I would wear this one. This is also really bump friendly. I specifically bought this because it was bump friendly. So, and it's longer. So I think if I paired it with a cardigan or something, it would be good. Same with this, it's a little bit summery, but I think if I wore it with like leggings and a, a cardigan, it would be good. And again, super bump friendly. This is one of the few actual maternity pieces in my closet. Um, it's a really cute Isabel maternity dress that my mom got me. It was just from Ross. It was like $8, so it was a great deal. And it's super cute and comfy. And I feel like the length and the color make it kind of nice for this time of year. There's a few things in here that like I I could wear, but I just don't see myself wearing often, like my fancier dresses. So I'm just gonna leave them over here because I don't wanna crowd this with things that I'm not gonna wear like on a regular basis. This is super cozy, also super stretchy, so nice and bump friendly. Same with this one. It's nice and stretchy with being a knit. I think I might wear this to our um, gender reveal party. I think that would be really cute. Which is coming up very soon, so stay tuned. I think this could actually be pretty cute. Cause it's a really stretchy knit. I love sweater dresses in the fall. This too actually has a good amount of room in here and it's cotton so it's nice and stretchy. Pull you out. As far as skirts go, I have a decent amount, but I don't think very many of them are gonna work for pregnancy. I think this one might. Oops. It's um, a knit pencil skirt, super cute. Um, and I think this would totally go over the bump and show it off nicely. So we'll pull this one out. And up here I have my sweatshirts and my t-shirts. I am gonna go through this, probably off camera because it's not that exciting to see. Wait for the big one. It's gonna take so long, oh my gosh. All my pants. Hmm. Done. Yeah, I have one pair of maternity pants. And I would say my jeans were the first thing to stop fitting me as my belly started to grow. <laughs> um, mostly all my pants are either like mid-rise or high-waisted, so they just don't really work for pregnancy. As far as pants go, I think this is the category that like I might actually need to buy one or two things. And here's like my leggings, sweatpants, and PJs. I have this pair of black maternity leggings. I got them from ASOS. They're really comfy. They're not like super thick. So if you wear them out and about, you kind of have to wear a longer shirt with them, but for home, they're totally fine. Pants, I got a pair of blue jeans. I have my black maternity leggings and then I have my green Lululemon Align leggings that I'm wearing and are looking like they're going to stretch pretty well with this belly for a while at least. So that's three pairs of pants. If you guys know of any good places with like really comfy maternity leggings, um, let me know in the comments down below because I obviously am lacking a little in that department. Alright, so I have been kind of organizing and going through things. I think I have my final lineup of my fall winter maternity wardrobe so it's just this section here from here to here Ooh. plus these three hangers right here over here I have like some of um, the things that are not in fit right now or they're off season and then I have um, the same of my dresses hanging up here so I just wanted to quickly walk you through what I ended up picking um, for this section here. So I kind of like to organize them by type of item. So what I ended up with is, 
six short sleeve t-shirts, seven long sleeve shirts, here. three button ups, three blouses, <laughs> and 14 sweaters, which I know seems like a lot, but it's seriously, oh, plus one I'm wearing, so 15 sweaters. It seems like a lot, but I really do love all of these sweaters, and I know I'm going to wear them a lot throughout the season, um, if they fit me for long enough. And then I have seven cardigans, which are really nice to wear over these lighter long sleeve shirts or t-shirts. And then I have nine dresses, um, most of them like knee length or shorter, and then one maxi dress in there. And then I have one skirt one pair of jeans and two pairs of leggings. So I'm hoping that this will get me through my second and third trimester in pregnancy, that it'll be really cozy um, for the colder months and that it'll be appropriate for teaching from home. Um, if you guys wanna see like an update or anything in a couple months of like what still fits and what I'm actually reaching for, let me know. I am probably going to spend a little bit longer just organizing um, things and my, you know, things that I put away that I'm not going to be wearing in the near future. Um, but that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration to go through your closet and maybe put away some of those summer things, pull out those cozy um, fall and winter things. Yeah, if you're pregnant too and you're going through the same struggle of trying to figure out what in your wardrobe will fit, I feel you. <laughs> Leave any recommendations you have for good maternity clothes in the comments below. From the looks of this, I'm definitely going to need at least one more pair of pants um, to make it through. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and I will see you in the next video. Bye!